So firstly I'm going to show you the model I created for this project, especially created it for this project. Um, the model is of a great white shark, it has a couple of cannons strapped to its back, no real reason why, um, just has. Um, the mesh has been created using the correct topology, so for example, round the mouth, you'll see when I use the split edge ring tool that you see a circle going round all the way around the mouth. This is the correct way to do it because this allows the correct deformation to happen when the faces um, get near each other. You'll get the correct deformation in the lip. Um, you'll also notice the head is separate from the body. Um, this is done deliberately because um, to save on processing power, the body will not be blended using blend shapes, there'll be no deformation or anything going on, it's just simply showing the mouth in this demonstration. Um, so, to create the blend shape, first we need to check everything's zeroed out, which it is. We're going to create 15 blend shapes. Oh, um, about the, um, the correct topology, there's an excellent website that I used as reference which goes through all the correct ways mouths and the topology of models should move. Um, it's very good um, and it helped a lot. Um, as for the blend shapes, I chose to use blend shapes because uh, Ardmans, who created um, Pirates, there's an article on this website about how they created the characters first by Martin. He goes through step by step how the character was created, um, rigged, and then further down he goes on about the blend shapes they used. They started with hundreds of these blend shapes and eventually got it down to eight. They're the mouths and this is just the head. This is just for one character. There is a different method used, um, which is using the Unreal en Engine, which is a game. They prefer to use, in the game engines, they prefer to use bones rather than blend shapes. Blend shapes don't work in many of the game engines that are out there. Um, Unreal give a, a layout of bones that they um, use as the default. They also give a list of expression poses. There are 15, 15 poses for the mouth. Um, they say in total, for default, there is a standard of 19 poses, 15 of which is for lip syncing, for the mouth, 4 for, for the eyes and eyebrows, um, they class as the standard um, amount. So, in the model that I'm creating, um, I'll be using blend shapes, but using their method of 15 poses to, for lip syncing. Um, this is because... Um, it enables you to say each letter, um, little um, suffixes and things like that. Um, I'm going to be applying that to this model. So to create the blend shape, first make sure it's zeroed, then duplicate it. We're duplicating this 15 times. I'll just send another pivot. So I will stack them three up. I'll do row four. Far. Um, to do the blend shapes, um, you whatever you do, do not freeze them or delete the history. Um, for some reason, it gets rid of all the attributes. Well, it gets rid of all the attributes, and then it will blend to the old, the original mesh correctly. Um, so, to deform the um, different heads, you can either use create a deform alessia or a soft modification. Or you can do it by hand by using the vertexes, faces, edges, and so on. Um, this is quite an, um, a modeling intensive um, way of animating the face. Um, but once done, it's a very simple way of doing this. Um, I shall skip forward to what I've already done. 
So I've created all the different expressions, it's 15 of them in total, using the um, Unreal as reference. Um, to add them all to the blend, just select them all. And then select the original mesh, then go up to Window, Animate, Blend, Edit, Create. And now you get a list of different sliders, which then you can see down at the bottom, the mouth is moving, moving with the blend. So now that's done, uh, we'll go on to the UI. The UI was created using simple curves. It's just simple squares and text. Nothing fan fancy. Um, to create this we're going to be using a set driven key, so if you go to animate set driven key and load the window up. We'll also need this channel box open. So to do this we need to load the driven which will be uh, the channel box which will be the blend shape and this bump so I'll load the driven driven blend shape go down to bump and the driver will be this controller a little circle which we load the first we make sure everything is uh, locked off everything's locked off good Go to driven and driver, and this will be that's not locked off. Let's just lock these off, it makes it easier. And hide them. So now when we load the driver, just get the two, and then we key this, and then move this to the value of 1.8, and then select on the blend shape move this to 1 and you'll notice that it's gone red this means it's um, keyed and it's took the attributes um, and then key this again and now you should see on the model the face moves um, I've done this for the rest of them um, and this is about it um, you can use multiple sliders to create an expression. You don't have to use the set one. So like now, you can see starting to take oh, definitely deforming a bit too much. But it's a, it's a lot more flexible than you might think. And animators love this because it gives them a set of tools literally at the side which they can animate as freely as they want. And 